Unit 9, Linear Equation, page number 118. Okay, first of all, I will tell you what is equation. Equation is statement of equality of two expressions. Now, you can see x plus 3. That is the first expression. Is equals to. Is equals to equation. Equation always in the equation always equal to exist. Is equals to 6. 6 is the second expression. If you see x plus 3, that is the left hand side, is equal to 6, that is the right hand side. So, now next point is linear. Linear means highest power. Linear means highest power. Highest power of variable. Who is the variable in this x plus 3? That is the x. So, it means variable should be 1. And the highest power should be 1. Highest power of variable in the equation is 1. So, x plus 3 is equal to 6. This is the equation and you can see one variable is x. Here in this e equation, variable is x and highest power is 1. So, this is a linear equation. Now, we see one more example. 4x plus 3 is equal to 35. Now, you can see x. x is a variable and highest power. Highest power of x is 1. Highest power of x that is 1. So, it means this is a linear equation. One more example. 5 over 9 round bracket x minus 4 is equal to 0. Variable is x and highest power is 1. If I take x square plus y square is equal to 0. Now, you can see in this, here is two variables, x and y. And highest power is 2. So, this is not a linear equation. Okay, now linear equation. In linear equation, the equation which contains a single variable, a single variable. Single variable means one variable. With the greatest exponent. Greatest exponent means power. Greatest exponent of 1 is called the linear equation in one variable. Now you can see in the example, x plus 3 is equal to 6. x plus 3 is equal to 6, this is the equation. And now in this equation, variable is 1. Variable is x. And one, one variable and highest power is 1. So this is a linear equation in variable x. Now you can see we can change the variable. So here is y. Variable is y and one variable. Highest power is 1. Linear equation in variable y. Now you can see one more example. 2x exponent is highest power is 1. Plus 4 is equal to 6x highest power is 1. Now you can see in this equation now you can see in this equation highest power is 1 and variable is 1 and that is x so this is a linear equation now come to the solution when we find out the value of the x and we put in this equation then left hand side must be equal to right hand side then we can see, say that okay, this is a equation because both the sides must be equal and that is the true sentence you can say also okay the value of the variable that makes the equation equation means x plus 3 is equal to 6 that is the equation a true statement is called the solution of the equation. When we find, find out the value of x and put in the equation, then both the sides must be equal. It means our linear equation is true. And that is the true sentence. Now we start our solution. You can see exercise 9.1, question number 1. Solve the following equation. Equation is given to you x plus 3 is equal to 6. Solution, then x plus 3 is equal to 6. Here is the left hand side, you can see plus 3. And what is the opposite of plus 3? That one is minus 3. So, subtract 3 on both sides. 
whatever we will do we have to apply on both the sides now we are doing subtraction subtract 3 on both sides so you can see minus 3 minus 3 plus minus minus cancel with each other just one variable is left and answer is 3 this is the solution now value of x is equal to 3 this value we have to put in the main equation and main equation and then you can see both the sides both the sides are equal so it means that this is a linear equation and our equation is true now you can see the second example one more example x minus 7 here i have to change the operation minus 7 now solution then x minus 7 when i will change the operation minus is given opposite is plus 7 so again plus 7 so plus means add so we will do over here add 7 on both sides again you can see plus minus 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 15 plus minus minus so sign of the bigger number here is the bigger number is 15 so minus is minus 8 is your answer you can see bigger number is 15 and operation and sign is over here is minus so this sign come with the number now again you can see checking x minus 7 is equals to 5, minus 15 now put the value of x x value is minus 8 put in the main equation and then you will got minus 15 is equals to minus 15 now this is a linear equation solution of the linear now you can see linear equation okay now two more example from your book exercise 9.1 x plus 1 is equal to 5 x plus 1 is equal to 5 now addition plus 1 means that at 1 is given to you we will take the opposite one that one is subtract 1 so opposite of plus 1 is minus 1 so subtract 1 on both sides now you can see subtract from both the sides so answer is x is equal to 4 variable of x is equal to 4 now this is the value of x we will again put this value in the main equation and then we will see the checking now you can see left hand side is equal to right hand side so our linear equation is true so now you can see the second one example question number uh, question number one part eight 11 minus x is equal to 6 now you can see here is the variable is same right but position is changed here is the x come first here is the number come first so it doesn't matter no problem now you can see the method 11 and operation is given to given over here is addition so at 11 minus 11 is equal to 0 so what you have to take from uh, take over here you have to take minus then you can subtract 11 on both sides then you can see you put the operation over here it's more easy for you plus minus 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 11 6 minus 11 again bigger number bigger sign sign of bigger number bigger number is 11 and whatever the sign with the bigger number we have to first write it down that now minus is over here because just because of 11 then 6 minus 11 answer is minus 5 now both the sides are equal so you can see minus is over here minus is over here we can cancel both the signs so we cancel both the sign over here and you can see x is equal to 5 now again we will put this value 5 value of x is equal to 5 in the main equation and you can see left hand side is equal to right hand side now I have to take some more example for you. Now you can see 2x minus 6 is equal to 0. It's a different equation. So 2x minus 6 is equal to 0. Right? Now you can see minus 6, minus 6 is a constant number over here. So again we have to remove this constant number from here. What is the minus 6? Opposite of minus 6 is plus 6. In case we have, what we have to do over here? We have to do add 6. Add 6 on both sides. So you can see. 2x minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 0 plus 6. Whatever we add the number in 0, answer should be the same. Whatever the number we add in the 0, answer should be the same. 0 plus 6 is equal to 6. So, are you clear? Now, you can see here is the variable is x and 2. 2 is the coefficient over here. So, here is the coefficient is 2. Rest of the example we saw that okay, there is no coefficient but in this 
you can see here is a 2. So, what we have to do? We have to remove this 2. No. So, we will take divide 2 on both sides. You can see I will uh, I done division over here. 2 and, d, uh, 2 and 2 cancel with each other. 2 divided by 6. So, answer is 3. So, what is the value of x is 3. Okay. Now, again put the value of x in the main equation. And you can see 2 times 3 is 6 minus 6. 6 and 6 cancel with each other. Answer is 0. Right? So, one more example you can see. 11 x minus 2 is equal to 20. You can see here is a 0 but here is a number. That one is 20. So, again what we have to remove? We have to remove minus 2 on both the sides. So, what we will do? We will take plus 2 on both sides. So, add 2 on both sides. Can you see? 11, uh, 11 x minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 20. 20 plus 2 answer is 22 and 2 and 2 cancel with each other 11x. Again we have to remove this coefficient from here. So divided by 11 on both the sides. Can you see? So 22 divided by 11 answer is 2. So again what is the value of x? x is equal to 2. Again put this value in the main equation and then you can see 11 multiplied by 2, 22 minus 2, that is the 20 is equal to 20. Okay, thank you girls. Girls, now please note down this uh, four homework sums and try to do it in your co in copies, okay? So please kindly note down this homework. X minus 6 is equal to Y plus 2 is equal to 4. I will just change the variable method. Should be the same. Nothing is difficult. Nothing is difficult. It's very easy. Please do it yourself. 5x minus 3 is equal to 12. And 9x plus 11 is equal to 84. That is your homework. Okay. Thank you girls.